see why. It's very, very substantial. It's so unique. It's so different. I love that treasure chest. I mean, this, 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 the treasure chest is artwork in and of itself. It, it really is. Right? Uh huh. So tell me top to bottom, what do we got here? Okay. This piece right here is elongated shade. You've got 636 pieces of hand cut glass wow. in here. Ambers, oranges, a little purple, a little turquoise, a little blue. The amber ripple glass that goes around the edges of this piece. And then you've got the pull chains as you come on down. This has two bulbs. You're gonna have the bulbs included. Love that. Isn't that fabulous? It, it is. I love the shape of it. I love the geometric shape of mm -hmm. it. It's beautiful. Um, you'll see the top. There's a finial on top. There's a little. Uh, there's vented perforations Perforated. on mm -hmm. top to allow. Uh, you know what? Which if you're using, you know, you can use whatever bulbs you want. But that uh, releases the heat. Um, the glow on this is amazing. I love. <clears throat> I just think everybody has an affinity for treasure chests. You know, we all aspire <laughs> and dream of finding one someday in an attic or you know some at the bottom of the ocean. But I love. That that, uh, I love that look to it. Um, it is very richly decorated. Um, how much How much glass is in this one, Kay? 636 pieces. Do you see the size yes. of some of the pieces? Come in real close. Can you imagine look cutting at, those tiny pieces piece. and look getting them finger. exactly right to go in that puzzle? Look at under, and you'll get oh, to my, fabulous. here's my finger right there. Yeah. I want to show you. Look at these little pieces. Those have to be done by hand. Okay? All by hand. And they have to be real, tri you know, little triangular pieces to fit. And then they have to be foiled, copper foiled. That's a tiny, teeny, tiny piece. And if piece. they have any rough edges, they, yeah. even on those hand cut pieces, oh. they have to file that a little bit. Oh, yeah. This, this is, is heavy. very, very heavy. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a heavy, heavy one. Yeah. Um, and this, in all likelihood, could sell out because I'm down to 100. Um, as I said, if, I, if it was me and I could afford one thing in the show, this would be the one that I would want. I love that this is, this can pretty much go anywhere. It could. Um, it could. It's not a real big lamp like some of the other table lamps we've right, shown which, you. Right, which need a real home. Uh, right, yeah. uh-huh. But this piece right here, I think is um, 18 and a half inches, yeah, or 16. It's, it's 16 by yeah. 10 by 9, and it's uh, 19 inches high. 19, okay, yeah. And your shade is 16 inches. But, oh, what a fabulous piece. I would, I'm, I'm hoping that there'll be one left for me at the end of the day because I know exactly where I would put this. And I'm, I'm one of those people, I'm not a big bright light person mm -hmm. at all. It was like, I just, I, you know, the minute I was born, I was like, it, I need to be in the darkness You're again. Right. Give me just some sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I love going to the beach and I like it during the day, but right. I, in my home, my home has a lot of decorative lighting that's, Almost everything's on a dimmer. You like that warm glow. I'm, I'm the dimmer mm -hmm. guy, you know, mm -hmm. and, and this, and by the way, you know, you could, if you wanted to figure out how to put dimmers and things, you can do that with, with anything, but right. this you don't need to because it's at the perfect level of light. So whether you have a game room or maybe you've got, um, heck, even, even a larger powder room for, for people that have a bigger mm -hmm. house, you could mm -hmm. put that in, but in an entryway, uh, sofa it table. Would, it, it would fit anywhere. Yeah. And let me tell you how to take care of your Tiffany glass. Glass. Yeah, we haven't talked about Do that. Do not use any kind of glass cleaners on your glass. Mm -hmm. That will turn your solder kind of a, a chalky-like finish. Yeah. Uh, after a while, you want to use furniture polish. I know that sounds crazy on glass, but once you put that furniture polish on there, it's going to give it a shine so like, like no other. So like an oily oil-based? An oil, based? Uh -huh. okay, or I if you have yeah. the spray furniture sure. polish, just right. spray it onto a rag and then just yeah. wipe it on here. And that'll Fabulous. give you the sheen and everything. Mm -hmm. So when you need to mm -hmm. dust it, maybe just a light of that. By the way, the bulbs are included. Um, Paul says there are now about 60 left with everybody online. So this is the hit of the show. I knew it would be. Yeah. Um, of course, the one that I want to buy today, and of course you guys are all going to buy it. That's okay. I'll wait till it comes it's back. It's just such a unique yeah. piece. And I don't know if you can actually see the detailing on the front. There's beautiful scroll work. Uh, kind of almost like Fleur de Lis stuff. There's leaves down here on the bottom, then there's beadwork. Yeah, great. And it's Thank finished all the way around. It's yeah. not just the front side. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, remember today we are doing our um, we are doing flex pay. Uh, that'll all disappear uh, as of uh, tonight at midnight. As will free shipping. So uh, everybody that or anybody that wants to get this, you really need to get on board right now. Uh, now is the time. To, to get it and enjoy it. And again, this is this is the piece, I think, if you can only get one, I love it, because I think it uh, it sort of embellishes everything.